Hi Cubbies! Welcome! Hi, cubbies. Welcome to another week of Cubbies. Yay! Hi Cubby Bear, how are you? Good, how are you Miss Laura? I'm good, I'm good. Great. I'm very excited. Mr. Andrew is telling a story from the Bible tonight that has to do with a boat. A boat? I know. I know about boats. I know you do and we're hoping yeah. to hear more about your story with a boat tonight. But yeah, I'm gonna tell you. I have a story too. Of you when do? I was in a boat. You were in a boat? Yeah. I've been in a boat before a few times. In a times. storm? In a storm. Oh. So. What? Can I tell you my story? Yeah. Tell me. Okay. Tell me. Tell me. So, boys and girls, when I was, I wasn't a kid, but I was a young adult, and we were out in a boat um, that my sister was out in too, my older sister. And so she was driving. And it was a beautiful sunny day. And so my sister said, let's drive down in the boat to the other side of the lake where there's this nice beach area. And we can kind of park the boat and sit and hang out. Oh, that sounds nice. I know. So we were all excited about doing that. So we went down with her. We said, that's great. That's great, Jen. Uh, Jennifer is her name. So, so we went down uh, and just enjoyed the sunshine. It was great. Wow. But then. Uh-oh. It didn't stay sunny. I mean, it was it still didn't. sunny by us, but off in the distance, you saw these big clouds, and they were big, and they were kind of uh -oh. dark colored. Like That's they, not good. they looked like they're storm clouds, and so it was way off in the distance at the other end of the lake where we had come from, but it wasn't oh, yeah. to us yet. We were still sunny. Oh, it was still sunny. So. That's good. I looked at those. I looked at those clouds, and I said, "Jen, maybe we should drive back sometime soon, just in case those look like they might have rain in them." And she goes, "No, Miss Laura, it'll be fine. It'll be fine." So I said, "Okay, we'll see how it goes." And sure enough, soon our sunshine went away, and those uh -oh. clouds got closer. And so oh, dear. my sister Jennifer looked up at the sky and goes, "Well." Maybe we should head back soon. And so she hopped in the driver's seat. We packed up everything. And she started going. And she started going fast. Oh. And as we were going fast, it started to rain uh -oh. on us. And we were kind of staying to one side of the lake to avoid a lot of the storm, which is over here. But we're trying to get back to where we, we had pulled the boat out to our dock. And so it was raining harder, Cubby. And harder. How hard was it raining? Uh, really hard. And when you're driving really fast in a boat, it kind of hurts to get rained on oh, that much. Man. And so it was storming and it started to lightning and thunder. It's lightning and thunder? Yeah. And it's, that sounds super scary. It was a little scary. And so we actually had to park the, the boat uh, on the other side of the lake in someone else's dock. We just someone pulled else? it and we got out of the boat Whoa. to kind of stay under shelter and be safe. And it was, it was storming and it was hailing and that's oh, when like, hail. I know, that's when rain that's turns so into scary. little, little ice balls. So it was scary and we were all okay. The rain and the storm passed and we made it home safely oh, eventually, shoot. which was good. But Cubby Bear, I was scared. I bet you were. We were stuck I in a storm in a too. boat. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So anyway, that's my story. And there's another story Mr. Andrew's going to tell tonight about a boat in a storm on the water oh, and something that one? something that jesus is involved oh. with so it's a good story so we'll hear about that later okay okay all right so now let's get ready for craft yay and we'll come craft. back soon yep welcome to the cubby's craft today you cubbies you will definitely want an adult helping you with this one um so the Supplies that you will need to do this craft are an empty bottle. I would recommend a smaller one than this actually, but this is just what we had around. So uh, like a water bottle or something smaller um, and plastic preferably so that um, the glass could possibly break. So I would use a plastic bottle with a cap that screws on tightly. Uh, a bunch of water in some sort of container to pour it in the bottle. I would recommend using a funnel of some sort or a makeshift funnel. Um, it will make things easier because the other ingredient you will need or the other two are oil and I'm using vegetable oil. 
Uh, I believe that you can use baby oil or mineral oil or olive oil. Um, it just needs to juxtapose itself against water. So oil and water. So some sort of oil. And if you have it, blue food coloring. Because we're going to simulate an ocean in a bottle. And typically oceans are blue. But if you don't have blue, use whatever you can find. Maybe there's other methods of dyeing water. Um, like putting the inside of a marker in there and letting it soak if you didn't have food coloring. I'm sure you could get creative with it. But again, boys and girls, this is a craft to involve an adult with. So to start the craft, take your empty bottle and unscrew the top, add your funnel, and you are going to fill the container about half full of water. might even do a little bit more for me because I don't want to fill all of this container with oil because I have a really large container. Okay. So I filled it about half with water and then you take your food coloring and add maybe two drops or three drops and then maybe we'll try and mix it and see what color blue we get. So, cap on tightly before you mix. And then mix it up. And got some pretty awesome blue water. I think that's blue enough for me. And that was three drops to this big amount of water. So you might only want one or two in a littler container or smaller container. So then after you have your blue water, unscrew the top again. And take whatever oil you are planning on using and add oil till you get close to the top of the container. And you can add as much or as little and if you only really want to use a little bit you can also just add a little bit um, and have a lot of empty space in your container too. Whatever you would like to do works just fine. So you screw the cap on tightly. Oh, the other thing that you will want and will probably need is uh, some sort of adhesive, either a hot glue gun or super glue or really strong tape. Um, to secure the top on or glue and tape if you would like to because this if this broke open it would be a mess so make sure that your top is secured but you can see that you have this cool different line between the oil and the water and if you turn it upside down you get all sorts of cool bubbles floating everywhere. So you can do that and you kind of shake it up like this and maybe that could simulate a pretty sweet storm happening with all those bubbles. So this is kind of our mini C uh, for the story that Mr. Andrew is telling today about how Jesus calms the waves and the wind by simply telling them to be still. So have fun with your mini water bottle oceans and that is our craft for today okay boys and girls i hope that you enjoyed time with your craft now we're coming back together and we're going to sing our song so come on over and make sure you're standing up for our cubby song and let's sing it together here we go we, we are wanna cubbies we're happy all day long we know that jesus loves us that's why we sing this song we hop because we're happy and we jump and shout for joy. For Jesus is a friend to us. He loves each girl and boy. Good job, boys and girls. Now, I saw some of you sent me videos of you singing that song. You are doing so well with singing that song. And the other thing that I was just so impressed with is how well you know your verse, your cubby's main verse. It's the first John 4, 10. So let's do it together. You ready?
Here we go. First, First John, John four, ten. ten. God loved us and sent his son, sent his son, sent his son. God loved us and sent his son. First John four, ten. Oh, that was so good. You're getting so good at that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Let's do it one more time just to be reminded of what God gave us in Jesus. So let's do it one more time. Here we go. If you were singing softly, you got to sing a little bit louder, okay, so I can hear you. Here we go. First, John, four, ten. God loved us and sent his son, sent his son, sent his son. God loved us and sent his son. First, John, four, ten. It's really good, boys and girls. It's really good. Good. And there's one more thing that we say every time we get together and do cubbies together. And that is, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Can you say, Jesus loves me? Good. And find someone else in the room with you or even in the other room with you and shout to them, Jesus loves you. Or, or if they're right next to you, don't shout to them. Just say, Jesus loves you. Boys and girls, Jesus loves us so very much. And so let's sing our song that reminds us how much Jesus loves us. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Boys and girls, the Bible tells you how much Jesus loves you. And he gave his life for you. And do you know why he did that? Well, it was because of his great love for you, but we are in need of that because we are sinful. So we're going to look for a letter today, again, that represents how we are all sinful. And it starts, I can't make it with my hands. It's an A, and it stands for all have sinned. So let's look for that letter. Here we go. Where is the A? Where is the A? Here it is. Here it is. Tell us what it stands for. Tell us what it stands for. All have sinned. All have sinned. That's right, boys and girls. All people, all of us have sinned. And what does it mean to sin? Can you remind me? Let's see. It's anything we think, say, or do that disobeys God. And so, boys and girls, we have all disobeyed God. And we are all in need of being forgiven for that sin and made right with God. And there is only one way we can do that. And that is through putting our faith in Jesus Christ and what he did for us by dying on the cross. And he rose again and he's in heaven now with God. And if we believe that he did that and put our faith and trust in him, then we'll be in heaven with him too, which is super awesome. So let's find the C that represents Christ. Here we go. Let's look for that C. Where is the sea? Where is the sea? Here it is. Here it is. Tell us what it stands for. Tell us what it stands for. Christ died for us. Christ died for us. Like I said, boys and girls, Jesus Christ died for us so that he could pay the payment or be the payment for our sins, what we owed. Even though Jesus never sinned. He never sinned. And yet he gave his life for us so that our sins could be forgiven. That is pretty awesome. Uh, and it makes me very, very thankful that he did that for me and for you and for all of us. That we can know God and that we can be with him in heaven when this life is over. And so, uh, boys and girls, though, I think we talked to Cubby at the beginning 
of the night, but now I think we're going to call him back again. I bet Cubby has to tell us about his story on the boat because we've been waiting to hear about that. So let's see if we can call Cubby back. Um, let's see. All right, on the count of three, help me call Cubby, okay? Here we go. Let's count. One, two, three. Cubby. Cubby. Oh. oh. Hi, kids. Hi. Hi, Hi Miss Laura. Hi. Uh, can, you, can you help me with, with my umbrella? Can, um, you, can you help me open that? Sure. Please? Sure. Hold on. Like, just pull it up. Pull yep. it okay. way up. Yep. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. I know. Hold on. It's going. Oh, thank okay. you. You're oh, welcome. That's, oh, man. I feel so much better now. Okay. Um, are you expecting it to rain, Cubby Bear? Well, I don't know. It's supposed to rain today, but it was raining when Timothy and I were in the boat on Cubby Bear Creek, and we didn't have an umbrella. Now I'm carrying around an umbrella just in oh. case. You never know when it might rain. Every day? Everywhere you go? Everywhere. Cubby, can All the time. Okay, okay. Well, Cubby, can you tell the boys and girls how you and Timothy ended up riding on a boat by yourselves on Cubby Bear Creek? Oh, yeah. We went down the creek to see if Timothy's toy boat would float. And when we were there, I saw Timothy's dad fishing, or his, sorry, Timothy's dad's fishing boat on mm. the shore. Yeah. Timothy and I started playing in the boat and soon it slid into the water with Timothy and me still in it. Oh, Cubby, that's so scary. You and Timothy shouldn't have gone down to the creek by yourselves, and you shouldn't have been playing in the boat. I know. And it got even scarier when the storm oh, came. No. A big wind blew Timothy's cap right off. Then it started raining really hard. What did you do? Oh. Well, we couldn't jump out and swim, and we weren't strong enough to use the paddles. We even tried yelling for help, but no one came. Oh. Oh. Hi, everyone. Hi, Lovey. Hi, Cubby. Oh. Cubby, why are you holding an umbrella? It's not going to rain today. The sun is out. Uh, you never know. When Timothy and I were in the boat, we didn't think it would rain either. But then it did, and we got soaked. I want to stay nice and dry. Lovey Lamb, Cubby was just telling us about his adventure on Cubby Bear Creek. Have you ever been to the creek? Oh, no. I try to stay well away from the water. My wool mm. is not very pretty when it's wet. Lovey, I'm sure you're always pretty, even if you're wet. But I do wish Cubby and Timothy had stayed away from the water this time. They were stuck on the boat in the rain, and they were scared. Oh, I'm so sorry you felt scared, Cubby. What did you do? I just hugged Timothy as tightly as I could. At least we were together. When we're scared, it's nice to know someone is with us, isn't it? Cubby, next time you're going to have to tell us how you and Timothy got off that boat. And I'm glad you're safe now. Me too. Bye, everyone. I'll see you next time. Oh. Uh, 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 Timothy, uh, Cubby Bear, wait, 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 um, okay, just hold on. Oh, Cubby, okay. oh, yeah, that's okay, right. Okay, you're good, okay, you're good. Bye, yeah. Yeah. bye Cubby. Bye, kids, bye. Bye, Lovey. Bye, kids, bye. <laughs> oh, I hope everything was okay on that water. I'm sure it ended up being so. Um, boys and girls, we're going to move on to our lesson time with Mr. Andrew. So get ready for a great story from the Bible. All right, Cubbies, it's time for our story. So, Timothy and Cubby sounded pretty scared when they were in a boat in the middle of a storm, huh? Yeah. Miss Laura, I think, was a little bit scared, too, when she was stuck in a boat in a storm. What scares you? Are you scared if you're in the middle of a storm? Well, we're going to hear today about another story of some people who were in a boat in a storm. This story really happened, but it happened a long time ago. We hear about it in the Bible. We have some non-Bible toys that are going to help us tell the story today. So, Jesus was teaching people about the kingdom of God. 
but he was teaching them from a boat because there were so many people on the shore. So Jesus was teaching all day. And at the end of the day, he felt pretty tired. So he told his disciples, let's sail to the other side of the ocean. So they got the boat ready, and then they started taking off. There they go. And Jesus was pretty tired, so he went to the back of the ship and disappeared somewhere back there. And the wind, so the waves were gently blowing, or rolling, gently up and down. So gently. That's when they ran into a problem. Wait, what? That's a giant dragon? That's not right. No, get out of the story, Texas. The problem was that the waves started to get bigger. The sky got darker. And lightning started to flash. And thunder started to rumble. And the disciples soon became very scared. Oh no! Help us! We're gonna drown! We're gonna drown! Oh! And waves were bigger. Oh! Jesus, do something! Jesus, you know, he was sleeping in the back of the boat. Jesus got up, walked to the front of the boat. Just said the wind and the waves, all the craziness, be still. <laughs> and the wind and the waves were still. The water was totally smooth. And the disciples said, Who is this that even the wind and the waves obey him? They didn't know at that time that Jesus was the Son of God, that he was God, that he could tell the wind and the waves what to do because he had power over them. He had made them. So they didn't really need to be scared, it turned out, because they were with the Son of God who was watching out for them. Cubbies, did you know that you don't need to be scared either? Because the Son of God is with you if you follow him too. So you don't need to worry if you're stuck in a big storm. You don't need to worry if it's dark out or dark when you go to bed and it looks like there are creepy things in your closet. You don't need to worry when you get sick or when other people get sick. You don't need to worry even if, you know, they tell you you shouldn't go to school for a while or they tell your parents not to work for a while. It's okay. Jesus is the son of God and he loves you and he's watching out for you. Why don't we say a prayer? Dear Jesus, thank you that you are God. Thank you that you have loved us. Thank you that you have saved us from our sins. Thank you that we are your children, God, and that we can come to you like children and ask you to help us. Thank you that you always take care of us and there's nothing that's too big or too strong for you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Now we're going to do something to help you remember your verse. All right, kids, let's practice your memory verse. I have a little trouble with the words. What? So Miss Lori's here to help me. Okay. Why, why don't you sing it first? Just so I know.
in the haze the, no the wind oh the winds ah and the waves not hay no hay hay's okay. not around all right no do it again okay let's try it again boys and girls help me help me along here the grave that's what we're talking about right he's victorious over yes but sin and that's true that's that's true but that's not the bible verse we're talking about that's not that's not the verse oh even though there's truth in what you said the verse goes even the wind and the waves obey Winds him and the waves the wind and the waves obey him all right all right let's try it again all right okay sing it with me here we go Daytime to start. It's daytime. And it's nighttime. Daytime. Daytime. It's daytime. Oh man, 
a.m. and it's starting to get a little darker. It's daytime. Daytime? Yep. Why? Still daytime. Let's go again. Yeah. Now it's nighttime. No. Nighttime. <laughs> nighttime. Lay down, Daniel. Lay down. <laughs> Still nighttime. It's really a long night. It's like in the middle of December. Oh, but no, we're actually in May, so it's longer days. So it's daytime. Daytime. green light okay you know how this works when the green light gets said you go but then when the red light gets said you stop and if the yellow light you gotta go really slow and if you take a long time to stop then you gotta go back to the wall so here we go green light red light oh I don't know back there yellow light red light Red light. <laughs> Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. <laughs> Green light. Yeah! <laughs> All right, to the wall. To the wall. To the wall. Okay. Yellow light. Red light. Yellow light. Green light, red light. <laughs> Daniel, go back to the wall. <laughs> Yellow light, red light. Oh, he tagged me to the wall. To the wall. Yes. Yes. All right. Last time. Green light, red light. Oh, Andrew, Mr. Andrew goes to the wall. That slide was not allowed. <laughs> Green light, red light, yellow light, red light. You tag me to the wall. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Listen up, everybody. Listen up. We're gonna do something different or new. So the story today. The story today had to do with water and the and the sea and the waves and so we're gonna play sharks and minnows today but back to the wall because you're not ready to play unless you're on the wall listening back to the wall cars back to the wall and go so pick someone in your house please to be a shark and the shark is gonna be in the middle mr andrew can pick the shark over there while i explain the shark's going to be in the middle, and you have to go from the wall to the other side of the room without getting tagged. If the shark tags you, then you become a shark too for the rest of the minnows until all the minnows are tagged. And then you start over. So I will say, please be careful of sharp objects as you play this game because it's not exactly an inside game or a things in the room game. So let's give it a try. Who is the shark? Daniel. Daniel's our shark. So here we go, Daniel. You ready? When I say go, you gotta try and tag them. Okay. Oh. Okay. You ready? Okay. So watch for them coming. Okay. Ready? Minnows, go. Go. Tag them. Tag them, Daniel. Oh! Did he get you? Yeah. You got Karis. Okay. So now. Daniel, we're all sharks. Okay. Back to the wall. Okay. Except for the sharks. The sharks, ah! sharks stay in the yeah, middle. Minnows back to the wall. Sharks. Now go. Daniel and Charis are sharks go. at our house, and yeah. whoever's no. in the middle at your yeah. house, yeah. Ready. sharks I in the middle. Okay, ready, go. set, go. minnows go. No. Cross. Yeah. Oh, they made it around. around. Ooh. Okay, try again. Back to the wall. Go, sharks. sharks in the middle. Daniel, go. Cars yeah. in the middle. Go sharks in the middle. Okay, gotta watch out for those tricky shortcuts. Last time. Minnows go. Minnows go. Sharks tag them. Get them, sharks. Yes! Get them. <laughs> okay, to the wall, to the wall. To the wall. Okay, 
Since a lot of seas or water is blue, find something in your house that is blue. Whoa. Okay. All right. Find something in the house that is yellow. Oh, here is something yellow. Find something yellow. Okay, find something red. Red? Something red. Red? 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 Okay, and you know, I'm super tired. It must be nighttime. Daytime. Now it's daytime. We're awake now. Daytime. Daytime. Yeah, Nighttime. Okay, y'all, it's gonna be daytime. Daytime. Get up and run. Get up and go. Daytime. Nighttime. Super fast days right now. Okay, to the wall. Okay, cubbies. That is all for our game time today. We hope you enjoyed the time, the lesson, and we enjoyed hanging out with you, even though we weren't with you. That's it's okay. nice to still see you and get to get to see you do this each week and participate in it. So, all right, Cubbies, we miss you. We love you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.